Hey TV lovers, I'm Leanne Aguilera and welcome to ET Live and today I am both thrilled and devastated to have my friend Chandler Riggs joining me today from The Walking Dead. Hi Chandler. Hey. How are you? Great, great. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Of course. I'm We're going to be chatting all about Carl's big episode because The Walking Dead returns this Sunday, February 26th on The Walking 25th. Dead. 25th. Yeah, third, yeah. I'm getting too so. excited. Yeah. I'm getting too <laughs> excited. Uh, if for some reason you fans tuning in right now now, have not seen the mid-season finale. I'm just going to let you know this whole thing is a spoiler for you. Chandler and I will not just be talking about his favorite pudding flavors, although I'm assuming it's chocolate. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> um, but send us your questions right now because we're going to be getting into the nitty-gritty, but you've been warned. Spoiler alert. Carl got bit. Chandler, yeah. when you initially found out that Carl was bit by a walker, what was your reaction? Um, I mean, it was kind of the same reaction I think that everyone had really just kind of really surprised and it, it was unexpected but um, you know when when Scott kind of explained it all to me it, mm -hmm. and it really you know made sense for the story and for you know for everyone's characters it, it, it kind of made sense for it to kind of drive the story forward and, yeah. and um, kind of take it where the show is supposed to be going. Now I understand that The Walking Dead showrunner Scott M. Gimple said that he wanted to talk to you along with your parents when he wanted to break the news of Carl's death. What was that conversation like? Um, it was <laughs> well when when they were when they they brought us in. It was, it was um, yeah, it was definitely like like an, an interesting thing because usually he doesn't like bring me in with my parents. Yeah. Usually it's just like well because I had actually I talked with him a couple months before um, just like kind of like the layout the season mm -hmm. and everything. Um, but he didn't. He didn't mention that. You didn't have and, any clue. Well, I, I think he did. I think he knew what he wanted to do, but okay. he just wasn't sure yet. Um, but I think, yeah, I think by then he kind of he kind of made up his mind. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, again, for like you know, for the story and for for everyone else's story, it, it, it really just kind of made sense for it to happen. And yeah. Especially for my career too. Like it's it's it really sucked to be off the show, but. Um, you know, I had such a great time. Like, yeah. it was really, really awesome. You know, having eight years, like, it's it's definitely an experience that I don't regret. You grew up on our screens, yeah. essentially. You had your formative years on The Walking Dead. Take me back to that first season. What do you remember most? So hot. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, at, at, at that quarry, it was just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, oh, look at little you. Yep. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> now, is this the same hat every time, or I'm assuming you had multiple hats? I have multiple hats. Don't okay. Worry. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, 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 I actually had the same hat from the second season up until like season four or five, and mm -hmm. I was like, this thing is way too small. We got we got we got to upgrade. Um, and I, I think actually by season seven or eight, I had like Andy's old hat mm -hmm. from like season one, which is pretty cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how does it feel for you to know, because this is such a unique situation, the writers broke this up, they revealed that Carl was bit, which we know in the Walking Dead world means you eventually do die, you turn into a walker. But we've had this break to really get to digest that, and now I get to talk to you about it, and we haven't even seen you die yet. How do you feel about how they've laid out this journey for you? I think it's great, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think, you know, it's it's it really shows a humanitarian side to Carl and, and how he's going to... Um, you know what, what? What left he has to teach Rick? He's, yeah. he's going to spend his last few moments kind of teaching Rick as much as he can. Well, and obviously the goodbye between Carl and his father has got to be one of the toughest things. I've seen the episode, and it's one of the most heartbreaking things that I've ever seen. What was it like for you to say goodbye to Andrew Lincoln? Um, well, I mean, any goodbye on the show isn't really like a like a forever goodbye mm -hmm. because you know I always see them at conventions and, uh, and other projects here and there, but. Luckily, that was like the first scene that we filmed of the episode was was that last scene to kind of just get it out of the way, um, and I mean that that whole scene was just like, well, actually that 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 last scene. Uh, oh wait, I can't talk about it. I was just about to talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about, about it afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So just as like a preview alert, be sure to check it uh, to ET online immediately after you watch the episode because Chandler will be spilling all of the juiciest after show episode details, so stay tuned for that. But yes, let's let's tease away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from that. But I imagine it was just a, a heartbreaking time. It definitely was. Yeah. yeah. Um, for everyone really. And but you know it was it was and actually when I when I wrapped they, they gave me like a, a hat from the first season that, that Andy wore and a, uh, a, a like a science dog T-shirt that I wore from season one, like framed and everything. It was uh, it was really cool. It was a cool send off. That's really awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you have been a part of the series since 
gosh, before 2010, because you filmed the pilot, I think, in 2009. Uh, no, yeah, it was actually the summer of 2010. Okay, great. So, so yeah. it has been eight years yeah. of your life. <laughs> Look back with me over Carl's journey. What has been one of your most favorite moments? I think my, my like, number one favorite moment ever was um, in, I think, I think it's season four, episode four or five, when um, basically, you know, a bunch of walkers are at the prison mm -hmm. and they... They break down the, the fence and they're they're kind of bursting into the prison and Rick and Carl like mow down all of them with with machine guns. That was the coolest thing ever because <laughs> uh, uh, Georgia labor laws restrict children like under 14 from touching any firearms on set okay. until they're 14. And so then we shot that on the night of my 14th birthday, and Andy like came over like knighting me with a machine gun and it, everyone like counted down. It was it was the coolest thing ever. I felt like I was in a video game. It was like the it was, it was so much fun to shoot and so much fun to... How yeah. special! Yeah. That is yeah. so cool! Yeah. Is was... that a real machine gun? Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> that, that's why, yeah, that's why, like, you know, it was, it was a big deal, because I was actually shooting a machine gun. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, we're starting to get in so many awesome fan questions, so thank you guys. Keep them coming right now. Uh, Riley says, thank you so much for everything that you've done for the show. Uh, Jen D says, um, what are you going to miss most about Carl? Um, you know, I, I, th I think he kind of brought a really light, uh, you know, a really light area to the show mm -hmm. and, you know, with, with, between him and Judith at least. Oh, and there she is. Oh, yeah, there she is. Um, oh, she's a cutie pie. Yeah, yeah. Although those twins are, are not the most fun to work with on really? set, not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. We would have been working It's with hard them. for toddlers to hit their mark. No, no, it, it really is. Yeah, yeah. That, that whole sequence, actually, um, with, with the Polaroids and everything, that was, it was not easy to make her look at the camera. <laughs> um, um, but Carl really embodied hope for so many people. You know, when his mom passed, she said, you're going to beat this world. And it's looking like, as of this point, that's not going to be the case for him. For those fans who really looked at Carl as the beacon of light on this show, what do you want to say to them? Um, I mean, really, it's 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 just like a thank you to to the fans. It's it's like, it's um it's such a way to get like sent off the show. Like it's it's the way the way it, it you know it, it it goes down. It it's such like a empowering way. And um, I think especially in this last episode, it's it's really going to drive that that excitement to kind of see where the story goes next a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, Lauren says, who will you miss from the Walking Dead cast? Um, I mean, really everyone. Yeah. Like, everyone has, has been, like, I, I, I hate to, like, not directly answer the question, <laughs> but but it's it's everyone on the cast has been so, so nice and um, really, really helpful and supportive with everything that I've done. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's just, like... It's been so nice. Like it's been the, the the coolest experience, hand down. And working with Andy and Denai and Alana and and everyone has just been like such an awesome experience. Well, a lot of the fans are saying they are going to miss you so dearly. Uh, but Yale has the question on everyone's mind: Does Carl or why does Carl love pudding so much? <laughs> what kid doesn't love pudding? Honestly, yeah, yeah. I, I don't blame him. I don't think he'd had pudding in years. No. Since, yeah. That was just such a him just chilling on the roof. Eating the pudding, just chowing down, yeah. just chowing down. Yeah. Did you, that episode make you sick? Actually, I, I luckily didn't eat the whole thing. Okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, I only ate like like a quarter of it, but it's still a lot of pudding. Like, <laughs> it was a good like five pounds of, of, of pudding that I had to eat. Um, but no, that that scene was it was it was really fun to film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that actually that whole episode was like, like that that moment in episode like four or five in that season was was super fun. But like the whole episode of episode nine was like was so much fun just because it was. It was all focused on me, and I, yeah. I really got to like kind of push my boundaries. It was it was really really fun. That was awesome. Yeah. Uh, Carrie says hi, Chandler. My question is, what's next for you? College? I've also heard that music might be an option. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually I started producing music about a year and a half ago under the alias Eclipse, and I'm just now starting to put out uh, some of my music and put out an EP at the beginning of this month, and I've got a show that I'm playing in San Marcos, Texas, on Friday. And uh, another show that I'm playing next week, another three more shows in May. So it's um, really gearing up, and I'm really, That's really excited. That's huge. That's yeah. so cool. And I love that you did it initially under an alias. What was the decision behind that? I really wanted to kind of kind of keep um, keep it separate from, from Walking Dead as much as I could, because yeah. I want people to listen to my music because they like it. You know what I mean? Um, 
and it, it's 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 really cool to kind of see that starting to happen and people really enjoying my music just because they like my music. Yeah, it's awesome. That's so cool. Congratulations on Thank that. You. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, Carolyn says, I just don't think The Walking Dead will be the same without you. You will be missed. Uh, Amanda, a very cool question right here says, What was it like to face your own death? Um, it was it was kind of kind of weird because I I um it was it was really unexpected. I think with you know everyone didn't no one really expected it, but um, I don't know the 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 way again like the way he goes out is is, is like a really um, I don't know I, I don't want to like I don't want to like spoil anything yeah. too much, but it's it's you definitely want to don't do not want to miss the episode. Yes, it's, it's, and yeah. then check back to ET online because we'll have all these answers oh, yeah. that he keeps leading <laughs> yeah. up to. <laughs> um, oh, this is a great question. Candy wants to know, will you come back and secretly portray a walker like some of the other stars? Oh, that, that would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that'd, that'd be pretty cool. I'd love to do that. What kind of a walker? Because, you know, we've had well walkers. We've had fence walkers. Oh, man. Well, you know, no, the well walker has, like, been hands down my favorite walker Me ever. Me too. Like, like it's, it's, it's so, just with the maggots, like, crawling out of it and everywhere. It's, it's, it's so well done, and it'd be, it'd be so cool to do something like that. Do you have a favorite walker kill? Um, I'm trying to think. There's been so there's been, many. There's been, yeah, there's been so many. Um, and I, I always think Michonne's kills are, are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The, the, you know, this knife the just slices right through it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Michonne, have you seen Black Panther? Because Danae oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard Denai she's an amazing. has crushed it. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Not surprisingly for Walking Dead fans. We knew that she'd be amazing. But did you see her go through any of that training? Oh yeah, no. She was when, like in between like shooting Black Panther. She'd be you know on the set of Walking Dead, and we'd be like, and she'd be talking about how she's like jumping through, jumping off of buildings and like doing all this all this crazy stuff. And then, yeah, it, it's, I, I I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. It's so good. Yeah. After after you die this weekend, you should go see. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, keep sending your questions. These are fantastic. Rhonda wants to know. She says, you are the person that always has Judith, so what will happen now? Her babysitter and brother, we all miss you so much. Um, well, I, I think Carl spent a lot of time not really in Alexandria yeah. as well, you know, sneaking out of the walls and everything, so. Having his first kiss. Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so I, I think he has, I think he's got, or I think she's got like some babysitters in yeah. Alexandria. I feel like there's going to be no shortage of people no, hoping yeah. to look after Judith. After they see what happens to Carl, they're going to be like, we've got her. Yeah, yeah She's definitely. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so we've also heard the news that Lauren Cohen, her contract might be up at the end of the season. She's possibly signed on to an ABC pilot. Have you heard anything about that? I haven't, yeah. yeah. I mean, since I'm kind of like, I don't really hear anything about the show anymore. You're a little I'm out of not the really loop. in it. Yeah, I'm yeah. a little out of the loop. Yeah, um, but I mean, it's after like seven years. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 you know a, a while a long time to be on a show, and um, I mean, it, it's always it's always super fun like doing something different, and, mm -hmm. and that's why like being off the show. I've I've already done like two other films, and it's like doing other things has has been like super super fun. That yeah, I haven't got to do in Walking Dead. I've got to play like. I played like this, this like psychopath character, and I played like this. Well, you kind of did that for a season That's or true. two. That's true. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's 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 super fun being able to like go and, and do other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Grace wants to know what was the hardest scene that you ever had to film. It's coming up in the next really? episode. Yeah. <laughs> the goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. So I was telling Chandler I saw the episode this morning and then had to redo my whole face of makeup because I cried <laughs> it off. So you guys definitely are going to need some tissues by your side. Definitely. Yeah. Um, now that you are off the show, have the Walking Dead executive producers told you how it's all going to end? No. Really? I, I haven't heard anything from anyone. As much as I would like to know, I, I have no clue. But I'm, I'm an avid fan of the comics, so yeah. I don't I don't know how the show like would end anytime soon with the comics being on you know coming up on 200 how did, that, how did that make you feel because Carl's still alive in the comics yeah was there um, anything that that he's done in the comics since you're a fan that you're like oh I hope one day I get to do that that you got to did you miss out on anything I mean definitely like a, a, the whole uh, his whole relationship with Negan and the whole Whisperer arc I was I was really excited for but um, I mean ultimately I you know again I get to do other stuff and do like way cooler things and yeah so it's, it's definitely like Definitely not a bad thing. Everything happens for a reason. Exactly. 
How many more seasons do you think we could get of The Walking Dead? And do you personally have a vision for how you'd like it all to end? I honestly don't know. I mean, my kind of vision involved Carl for it to end. So yeah. I, don't, I don't really, I don't, I have no clue how, how it could end now. Mm -hmm. um, but it'd be cool to like, if they did like a movie or something, mm -hmm. it'd be kind of cool. That would be cool. I don't know. Yeah. Like eight seasons in a movie? That'd be pretty cool. I'm into that. Yeah. I'm into that. Yeah. Would you ever envision that Carl could come back in like a flashback or dream sequence oh, forward? Oh, definitely. Yeah? yeah. I think it's definitely possible. Yeah. Um, this season or just in general? I think just in general, yeah, because okay. I, I know, um, well, at, you know, at the end of season seven, Abraham came back for, like, that, like, flashback with The Thanksgiving, with yeah, that was really sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would like to think that Carl is going to be looking down over Judith and his family. Definitely, definitely would. Uh, well, we are running close to out of time, uh, so my question for you is, do you have anything that you would like to say specifically to the Walking Dead fans, because uh, they've been on this journey with you since the very beginning? Yeah, I, I I really just want to say thank you, like, to, to you know the fans and um, for supporting me this whole time and and you know you guys are the reason that I have a job and like that I you know have a career and I'm able to really do what I love and it's because of you guys and I thank you so much. Well, Chandler, thank you so much for sitting with me and talking to me all about this episode. Do you have one final tease? for what the fans should be prepared for. What are some things that they need with them before they <laughs> tune in? If you have any pets, you're gonna need them close to <laughs> hug them, you need tissues, all, all that stuff, yeah. All the good things. All the, yeah. Maybe a blanket to snuggle up with. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm thinking like a face mask because you're going to be puffy at work the next day. <laughs> Everyone's going to be talking about it, so they're going to need to watch it live. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Uh, and guys, be sure to check ET Online immediately after you watch the episode because Chandler's going to be spilling additional spoilers that you do not want to miss. So as soon as we get offline, we're going to be chatting all about that, so stay tuned. Uh, the Walking Dead returns this Sunday, February 25th at 9 p.m. on AMC. Tune in because Chandler it might be our last time seeing you. That's so sad. Yep. I'm not ready for that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're wishing you luck. See you guys.